Well, Spokane County is agreeing to share some of the money with the city. Pending city council approval, the two governments are going to share revenue from three growing areas, the West Plains, the University District, and Northeast Spokane. The projected revenue has both governments seeing it as a win-win. That's also what both of Spokane's mayoral candidates think. Our mayor, Kawash, is live in studio with how they believe this will benefit Spokane. Mayor. Yeah, Aaron, I don't know about you, but my mom always told me sharing is caring. Now, the county and city are doing just that, and it should pay off for everyone involved. I spoke to both mayoral candidates today, and they agree this is a win-win situation. There may not always be enough money to go around for everyone, but in this case, there is. Spokane County agreeing to share its revenue with the city from areas like the West Plains comes at a perfect time. You know, we're 10,000 below the state average on median household income. And when you look at causes for homelessness, the number two cause is lack of income, and the number three cause is lack of affordable housing. So we need to find good jobs for people, and that's one of the underlying things we're trying to do here. A prime example of this working out for both sides is the Amazon Fulfillment Center in the West Plains. While those 1,500 jobs coming into the county are nice, what makes it even better is splitting that revenue between the county and city. This new agreement means taxes are split equally between both governments, regardless of where a business opens. It's really what cities and counties do well is infrastructure, and by investing in infrastructure in these areas like the University District, Northeast, and the West Plains, that's going to build up economic development. So we can expect more projects like that as we move forward. Both the county and city will get 12.5% of sales or property taxes, while the Public Development Authority gets 75% to reinvest in itself. Mayoral candidate Nadine Woodward has mentioned in her campaign that she'd like to look outside the city for development. This falls into that strategy. I've been talking all along about collaborating with our neighboring partners for economic development, as well as a number of other issues, infrastructure, housing, homeless, but uh, I hope the council passes. And if it does pass, Woodward says it lays the perfect foundation for a better economy. So that they can lure businesses that much quicker and attract more of those kinds of uh, manufacturing and businesses because all the groundwork is already done. So I think this is a fantastic, it's a win-win situation for everybody. Stuckard says the projected revenue from this would be about 400000 for six years. City Council will vote on it November 4th, but I'm told it's expected to pass. Reporting live in studio, I'm Mayor Kawash for News Now.